I'm going to do a short video on tweaking a component in a presentation presentation drawing for Autodesk Inventor. We're going to make it look like this screw is threading itself in. So we're going to tweak component. I'm going to select my component and also select the direction. You notice I'm doing this separately. I'm going to come out and I want to come out here uh, 0.5 inches. Now, and then let's clear that. Uh, our thread is a quarter inch dash 20. That means there are 20 threads per inch. And if I move this a half inch, then it's going to it'll rotate uh, 10 times. So let's go ahead and add that rotation. So there's our component. There's our direction. And we're going to do a rotation. And it'll be 3,600 for 10 rotations in a half inch. Let's accept that. And then we'll clear. And then we also want to go another, that'll be the last half inch. It'll thread itself in. Now this time here I'm just going to drag it. Oops. Let's undo that. I should only have two tweaks. Alright. This will be a linear tweak. And now I'm just going to drag this out. And let's drag this out, oh, we'll say uh, an inch and a half. Now, here's another nice thing about this is that um, I can select it here and then change it down here. So let's go 1.5. So altogether, this is coming out two inches. I have a 0 0.5 tweak, a 3600 degree tweak, and then an inch and a half tweak. Now, the key to this, and then as long as we're doing this too, let's go ahead and tweak uh, the wheel out and we'll drag this on the z-axis there we are let's come out uh, let's come out a good inch on this all right now if I go if I animate this it's going to look like this then the wheel will come in that's going to go, and you can see it's not working together. Okay, let's go ahead and reset that. Now, here's the key. is going to a sequence view. So, on my filter, I'll go to a sequence view, and I can see my sequences here now. And there's my wheel. It's going to go one inch. My axle peg is, peg is going an inch and a half. And I have the axle peg moving a half inch and 3600 degrees. I'm going to drag this into this sequence so that now these two are grouped together and they'll go together. So now if I animate this you can see that that the wheel will come in the last half inch is going to thread itself in. Let's go ahead and reset that. So that's the key is being able being able to get two different uh, distances on that axle peg and so it's with these two together it's going to look like it's threading in. Next we'll set the camera for this tweak. We'll edit and to see this tweak let's zoom in on it and let's slow it down a little bit so we'll go 35 on the interval. We're going to set this camera right here. Now let's just play that sequence. And you can see we got a good view for that. Let's also now the linkage arm and the two axle or linkage pegs which I've already done let's put those two together. So now they're together and let's also save uh, or edit this set a camera when that comes in, let's play that, see what it looks like. We can move this a little bit faster, so we're going to go like 5 on this. We're going to set this camera right here. Now, if we say we go to a home view and we play this, 
it's going to come to our camera view as soon as we get to... No, I guess it didn't happen. Okay, so what happened there? Let's go back to this sequence. Let's edit. Uh, apparently I didn't have that. That must have been grayed out earlier. So let's go ahead and uh, set camera. I think that would be a good view. Let's see what that looks like. So we get a nice zoomed in view on this. I think I forgot to reset. That's probably what I did earlier. And then we'll set camera. All right, now if we just go right down the line. We can play sequence one. All right, let's reset that. That can go a little bit faster. Let's let's speed that up. Uh, for this, let's set camera to that. Let's apply that. Now let's take a look at sequence two. Okay, let's reset that. We can go fast with that. Let's take a look at sequence three. That was that camera. Let's look at sequence four. Okay, for that we'd want to be zoomed out a little bit. So we can go with something like this. That can go a little faster. Let's set that camera and apply that. Let's take a look at sequence five. Let's play sequence five. And that's those two. That looks good. And let's look at sequence six. Okay, let's play sequence six. That's the track coming up. For the track, Let's zoom out. Let's set that camera. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's say we're at some other view. Let's go ahead and animate and let's see what it looks like. Now you can see we slowed it down for the screw. We can see the screw turning in. We zoom out for the link arm. We zoom in, see those, zoom out a little bit again. And of course, we can come back and and reset some of this, but we follow that procedure for the other side by applying tweaks, setting camera, uh, checking everything out. And once we're happy with it, we can go ahead and, if we'd like to, uh, we could record it or um, whatever it is we want to do with it. That's it. Thank you.